Hi everyone, this is Dr. Serge in Nutrition Sciences. In our last video, we saw that cholesterol is actually needed uh, for optimum health, meaning that if you don't eat enough from your food, your diet, your body will make it. On the other side, uh, as you go older, um, you actually need cholesterol from, from food uh, because the body doesn't really make it as much as when you were younger. So today I want to go over another fact about cholesterol is cholesterol is a fat and as you may know fat doesn't mix with water so in order for the body to carry cholesterol uh, throughout uh, the bloodstream we need to use a carrier a transporter to carry the cholesterol to to the tissues to the cells so as we saw cholesterol is a white waxy substance that doesn't mix with water so therefore it is carried by two systems in the body the first one you may have heard that from your doctor is LDL some people call it the bad cholesterol they believe it's bad because this LDL carries the cholesterol to the organs to the tissues to the cells and they believe that because of this system that cholesterol accumulates into the arteries of the heart, heart leading to um, possibly a heart attack. On the other side, it's HDL. So doctors would claim this is the good cholesterol. So meaning that it removes the excess of cholesterol out of the cells of the tissues and bring it back to the liver. So this concept has never been demonstrated actually by science. It is a belief system. So to simplify that, I wanted to show this diagram. So we know that the liver is the main organ that makes cholesterol. And this cholesterol is carried to the cells by transporter called LDL. So when is it, there is an excess of cholesterol, the other carrier, HDL, will bring the excess of fat to the liver. So this is a cycle that keeps on and on to keep a balance in cholesterol in the tissues and cells and organs. The problem arises when um, doctors look at your blood work and tell you, oh, your LDL is high, so let's give you a statin, a drug, a cholesterol dr drug that lowers the cholesterol in the blood. The problem with this concept is, I wanted to show you on this diagram, this graph, that there's about 12 different types of LDL, as you can see, we have really large ones and you have tiny ones over there. So when your doctor say you have a high LDL, so they look at all of these different types of LDL. They don't really differentiate which one is high. The issue comes when um, they don't really differentiate, meaning that among these 12, 11 of those are non-toxic, meaning that they do not cause any issues at all. There's one LDL, which we call small LDL, okay, these ones that are known to cause heart disease and cause different issues in the body. And the only way to get those small LDL in the bloodstream is by eating too much sugar or too much wheat. So this has nothing to do with fat intake or fats from animals like cheese, eggs, or beef, actually. So this LDL is the one that is toxic and it comes from sugar wheat and other grains possibly. So when your doctor says you have a high LDL, you have no idea where it's coming from. And most of the time it's coming from your uh, sugar intake. Okay. And the last one I wanted to bring up is, this is a molecule of LDL. Okay. As I said, this is a carrier. So the cholesterol is inside this molecule. And all these are different proteins that allows the, the body to carry cholesterol. One thing that we know today is inside this molecule, we find different components, like we find fat-soluble vitamins, like vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin K. We find CoQ10, for example. We found some antioxidants. We find omega-3, omega-6. We find different minerals, etc., etc. So LDL in the body is the main carrier of fat-soluble vitamins. And omega-3 so when your doctor say okay let's 
use a drug to lower your cholesterol. So what at the end of the day it does is it lowers the LDL carriers. So meaning that it reduces the amount of vitamins and omega-3 that being transported in the organs. So your doctor will say, yeah, we have to lower your cholesterol because it's high. And on the other side, they will recommend to take a fish shark, for example, omega-3. So if you do that, there's no benefit at all because the cholesterol of the, the statin, I should say, uh, prevent the transport of omega to the heart, to the organs, to the liver, to the brain, etc., etc. So as a matter of fact, we know today that LDL, which is called bad cholesterol by doctors, is actually the most important cholesterol that your body needs to be healthy. So my recommendation is, is to really work on your diet. If your cholesterol tends to be high, there's a reason for that. And like I said, most of the time is because of an, um, um, an increase of sugar and wheat and corn and different grains like that. So the goal is to really lower your carbs and sugar. And I would bet you that your cholesterol will slowly go down. So on this one, thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. God bless you.